Good morning. My name is Dmitry Bizinover. I'm from Penn State University. And thank you very much for this great opportunity to give this talk, History and Role of Anesthesia and Liver Transplantation. And I don't have anything to disclose. The entire history of the liver transplantation, organ transplantation, this is a history of breakthroughs in medicine. And the first breakthrough is associated with this person, Dr. Peter Brian Medavar. During the Second World War, Dr. Medavar worked in one of the British hospitals and did the first experiments with the transplantation of the skin grafts. After the war in 1948, he defined the immunology of transplantation and began to define a rejection. Dr. Medavar awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology of Medicine in 1960. Dr. Joseph Murray performed the first successful kidney transplant in the Brigham Hospital in 1954, and it was the next breakthrough in the medicine. Dr. Murray awarded Nobel Prize in Physiology in 1990. Even kidney transplantation was already possible in this, at this time, Immunosuppression was a big problem, what Dr. Murray did differently. He performed kidney transplant bet between identical twins and immunosuppression was not given. In this time, kidney transplantation was a big deal and it was a big team of physicians, surgeons helping him during the transplantation. In his team, Dr. Murray had a young British surgeon. His name was Dr. Roy Kahn. It was an unknown young British surgeons who just did his fellowship in Brigham Hospital. No one knew that Dr. Roy Khan going to be one of the key personalities in the future history of the organ transplantation. But before it happened, Dr. Thomas Tarzo performed the first successful liver transplant in 1967 at the University of Colorado. What does it mean successful? The patient survived over one year. Well, uh, can you remember young British surgeon helping Dr. Murray, Dr. Roy Khan? Dr. Khan performed first liver transplant in Europe in, Europe in 1968, just one year after Thomas Tarzel. He performed first liver, heart, and lung transplant in 1987. He performed the first successful combined stomach, intestine, pancreas, liver, and kidney cluster transplant in 1994, and he did much more. In 1984, Dr. Khan published this paper in New England Journal of Medicine regarding his experience using cyclosporin in liver transplantation. This paper changed everything in the face of the organ transplantation. Before this publication, one year survival of the liver transplantation was just 25%. And after introduction of cyclosporin, um, one year survival became 75 percent. Until now we talk just about surgeons. How about anesthesiology? The people what that you see here, they are first liver transplant anesthesiologists. From left to right, this is Dr. Andre de Wolf, Dr. Antonio Altreta, <clears throat> Dr. William Merritt, and Dr. Yuga Kang. Probably many of you know Dr. Antonio Altreta, who is author of Altreta Pecu score. He published a number of the papers uh, in the field of vascular anesthesia and had about 900 citations. But probably only a few of you know that Dr. Latreta performed anesthesia for first successful liver transplant at the University of Colorado. Dr. Latreta pointed that <clears throat> anesthesia for liver transplantation, this is not just anesthesia for big abdominal surgery. This is something so completely different. He also pointed extreme complexity of this anesthesia care and requirement for transplant anesthesia. Uh, this is what Dr. Starzl wrote about Antonio Altreta. Only few anesthesiologists have the skills or possess the determination to handle these difficult cases. But it was Tony who painted the big picture. He was the pioneer transplant anesthesiologist. Dr. Yuga Kang. Dr. Kang used to work in Pittsburgh together with um, Dr. Starzl, and he published a huge amount of the paper in the field of anesthesia and liver transplantation. He brought back lost technology of thromboelastography, or TAC. TAC was invented in 1947, 
by German uh, researcher Dr. Helmut Harler, but was not used. And Dr. Kenk was the person who used first time tech folio transplantation and pointed how uh, important and useful this um, for uh, management of coagulation. And now tech is used everywhere, including trauma surgery, cardiac surgery, and different fields. Uh, he also defined post reperfusion syndrome. Dr. Kenk founded in 1990 the International Society for per Perioperative Care in Liver Transplantation, was that was uh, later renamed as ILTS, International Liver Transplantation Society. ILTS, this is really unique society, unified anesthesiologist, surgeon, hepatologist, nephrologist, and ILTS doing the huge educational work in the field of organ transplantation. Dr. Andre de Wolf, he was the pioneer of using T for non-cardiac surgery. He used it for liver transplantation. He also published the first algorithm for using of RTPA for intracardiac clotting. Dr. William Merritt, he was organizer and chair for seven consecutive years of ILTS meeting perioperative care in liver transplantation. This meeting was created for anesthesiologists and critical care physicians involved in the organ transplantation. Do we need dedicated team for liver transplantation? Initially, liver transplantation was done by everybody. Dr. Altreda pointed initially need for liver transplant anesthesiologist, and this discussion was brought back in this paper by Susan Mandel. Uh, this is not point of the discussion anymore. Latest after this paper published by uh, the group from the University of Wisconsin, there are compared outcome of liver transplantation before and after introduction of um, dedicated anesthesia team, and they found that after introduction of dedicated team, both use of blood and FFP decreased significantly. The same picture was with a day of ventilation and ICU days. This is relatively a uh, recent paper published by uh, Mount Sinai Group. They evaluated uh, outcome of the liver transplantation uh, regarding uh, level of experience of anesthesiologist, and they found the direct relationship with a cut off of five liver transplantation. I'm not exactly sure about the exact number, five liver transplantation, but I agree with the conclusion of this paper. This is direct relationship between experience of anesthesiologist and uh, outcome of liver transplantation. I ask people they know in different country about dedicated team and liver transplant fellowship. Uh, almost in every country you can find dedicated team taking care of liver transplant patient with some exception, for example, in Germany and in France, this is depends on the hospital. Structured national fellowship uh, for liver transplantation is available only in the United States. We have about 15 fellowships. In India, uh, fellowship is now available only in the uh, private hospitals, but not in other hospitals. However, uh, the India now working on the national uh, fellowship, similar like in the United States and also in institutional fellowship you can find in the Taiwan. What is the contribution of transplant anesthesiology for general for anesthesiology? Uh, the establishment of evaluation and treatment protocol for transplant candidates with cirrhosis in additional conditions, including cirrhotic and alcoholic cardiomyopathy, portopulmonary hypertension, hepatopulmonary syndrome. Establishing protocol for perioperative management of hyponatremia, the introduction of uh, use of perioperative ultrasound in intraoperative T monitoring for non-transplant surgery, establishing protocol for management of intraoperative clotting, the management of coagulopathy, use of viscoelastic testing, and transfusion component therapy, including PCC and fibrinogen concentrate, evaluation and management of perioperative hemodynamic instability, including post-reperfusion syndrome and vasoplegic syndrome, the management of infection in immunosuppression patients, and much more. 
This is Thomas Tarzell Way in Pittsburgh. Thomas Tarzell Way was established many years ago when Dr. Tarzell was still alive. I think this is the best way to show our appreciation for the person who changed everything in the field of the organ transplantation and made the organ transplantation one of the most accessible projects in the modern medicine. Thank you very much for your attention and please ask me your questions.